Good morning, Naomi here, and I just wanted to share with you my latest design team make for FriendlyDesigns.com. Now, if you're not familiar with Friendly Designs, they're a family run MDF laser cut embellishment company. So they do embellishments, they do storage options, and so much more. And this is something I've made from things that they sell. So. And um, this one's called Captured Time. I seem to have a thing about time um, on my pieces in the last year or so. And I think it's probably going to continue because I've got another idea for a time piece. But let's stop talking about that and show you what I did. So to make this snake, I used the 3D bird cage. Blue strings. Just a 3D bird cage. And I've used the largest of the treble clock faces, and up here I've used one of their cogs. So I'll take you through what I did. I started off by making or decorating this piece. Now, this is a Tim Holtz fob watch or pocket watch, and I have used crackle glaze and I've used um, alcohol inks, I've used wax to get this, you can see it properly, it's a really distressed aged feel to it. Inside I've got a filigree piece and a tag which I've attached to each other using a brad. The tag says live your dream, which is something I'm trying to do, working on it. And on the back I have added a filigree butterfly and some beads. I'll put pictures at the end just in case you can't see what I'm doing. And the reason for the butterfly um, is because butterflies only live for a very short time and you need to live life to the fullest so I tend to add them to a lot of my projects especially if they're time related so that's why there's a butterfly on there. So that was the first thing I did, I created that and then I sprayed all of the pieces of the bird cage and the dice with Shinanist by Radiant Rain and the colour that I've used is Jasper Red and you can see that colour here so that's where I started so both the cage and the clock base, the base, were all sprayed with this colour. Now I don't spray, I tend to use a paintbrush, it lets me have control over where the paint, the, the ink is going and it creates a lot less mess, so you lose less because if you're spraying you end up with loads on all the surface, tissue, whatever it is you're spraying onto. When you use a paintbrush you don't get that, you're literally just going onto the wood piece. So that's got two coats of this shimmer spray on there. And then I assembled the bird cage. Now, the pieces go together lovely and tight. You don't need a lot of glue. I did glue it though, I used PVA just to make sure. And then after that, I um, added a 3 mil red tape. And then I used something I swore I'd never use again. Gilding flakes. <laughs> I tried gilding flakes once and didn't like it, it was so messy and I couldn't get achieve what I'd seen on the TV and I just need some more practice but um, it's actually Tina that suggested using the gilding flakes and I'm really grateful that she did. So this one is red gilt. So as I said, I put tape on all the straps going down and all the straps going round because you've got this bracing piece and this bracing piece and then I stuck on the gilding flakes and I use a paintbrush uh, like a stippling brush to um, sort of take off or polish it down I don't know what the proper term is I'm not a gilding wet, um, flakes person but that gave me this lovely effect and I've deliberately left some bits hanging off to add to the distressed feel so that's been done all the way around I love that effect. Once that was done, 
I glued the base and the cage together and I use collal glue simply because it will sit in a blob and that's what I wanted for attaching the feet because you haven't got a lot of space on the bottom of the feet to attach to here because of the hole in the middle but that's how I wanted it to go and it's perfect it stayed really really well um, oh I forgot to say to you I, I always spray before I glue because once you've glued I found that um, spray inks don't tend to take where the glue was so just a little added bit for you so yeah as I said um, gilding flakes went on then I attached the base with collar glue and then I used matte multimedia to add the micro balls and at this point I then decided I didn't want so much red so <laughs> I've gone round the base and um, I use a paintbrush also to go around this section the bottom layer and I've used this is actually a dabber I don't use the dabber anymore I used it when I first bought it again I use this as a paintbrush just give it a really good shake to get your flakes going through your Nika and it's Radiant Rain and this one's called Nutmeg and you can see the lovely nutmeg coloured mica in there so I use that and then I used three lots of wax I used teal which is a gorgeous gorgeous glue look at that absolutely love that so I used that one I used golden green which is this one and I used renaissance my treasures gold which is this one and I've had this pot about four or five years and I use it on pretty much every make I do and look how much I've still got so that's what I used to add colour to the base and in here and on the pocket watch and all around here so it's there everywhere just to age it add some more interest then on the top I've added the cog which was had that colour added to it the nutmeg I showed you earlier and the finial at the top I've actually made myself so that's three metal filigrees and a bead and all of the cogs the butterfly the finials at the top I've got um, all of those are from Zandra's Crafty Stash which is on Facebook and also there's a little flower in there on top of a small clock face this is a really 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 easy project to do really easy as I said the third cage will go together so easily you literally just slot everything in place add a dab of glue before you put it into, the, um, into place push it all together done it's done in minutes so easy and it's really really sturdy and stable it's great quality so it's a great one I when I did first see it I was thinking beauty in the day so then when I got it it's like no actually I need another time piece so thank you for listening to me waffle I hope you like my piece this one's called captured time and if you haven't seen Fernley designs before please pop over and have a look they're um, www.fernleydesigns.com and they do also have a group on Facebook. So that's it from me for today. I hope you like it. Take care. Bye.